This just n nope. I don't believe it. It's just not real. Hello, sir. Hello. What's up? Not a whole hell of a lot, sir. How are you? I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah? How's the military life treating you? Uh, so shitty. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Weird, right? You mean to tell me that being screamed at, shot at, and then kicked out without any kind of post-service healthcare isn't fun? Pretty much got that down to a T. Where the hell do you get off? <laughs> it's that's an, it's like you're giving birth to an elephant really slowly. For a second there, he did scare me a little bit because I'm like, bruh, what kind of demonic dummy is this? And then it's like, dummy? oh, never mind. Like, yes, dummy. I'll pretend dummy? I didn't hear that. I'm a dummy too. I'm no different. No. No, it's different. Oh, no, it is. It is not that different, okay? Like, let's be real. Probably you're smarter than me, but I am dumb enough, <sighs> okay? No. Don't sigh at me. Oh, no. Nope. How rude. Oh, oh, you're the one throwing the D word out there, but now I'm rude. Excuse me, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh huh. No. Now we're taking this all the way back to racism. <laughs> yeah, 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 we are. I bet you like dead silence too, didn't you? You were not born with that. That's bigger than any baby. And I'm here in my bedroom with my fucking cat. You know, here's a winner. Yeah, he's right over there. The black, the black thing over there. My cat. Oh, I hate cats. You can tell because watch this. Here, kitty! Here, kitty. Nothing, it's a cat. <laughs> okay, I got asthma, bro. You trying to make me laugh and you want to see a dead nigga on this table. Oh. And you're gonna be like, oh, are you okay? Oh, I get it because I'm a white person. <laughs> I like I like dead niggas, is that it? Really? Okay, I see how it is. Because I'm black, you're going to pull out the offensive card. Hey, I'm white. Everything I say has to be written with guilt. Everything I say needs to be an offense for you? Right. Well, uh, do you live in America? Oh, I live in Canada. Oh, well, Canada that's, the pro like that's the problem. Okay, well, of course. If you were an American, then yes. Everything you say has to terrify white people. That's just how it is. I didn't realize you were not American. I'm sorry. <laughs> they, no, I, do, I don't believe you. It's some kind of practical joke. That thing's like two feet long, sir. It's, it's just insane. Look at it. It's as tall as I am. <laughs> this is going to be like the most interesting conversation I've had all night. <laughs> yeah, isn't it weird? <laughs> Dick dick, yeah, dick, 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 Indian guy, dick, 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 puppet. Oh my god, you're roasting me. Yeah. I'm already black as it is. Calm down, stop roasting me. Like, uh, well, you you're not like, you know, Wesley Snipes black. True. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get my cat. Yeah. You know what's weird? <laughs> I'm actually quite impressed that you can sit here and talk to me and just keep on trucking. That is some dedication to the craft. You know what I find weird? Every single guy I've seen today who's, you know, not here for talking, uh, they're all like really fucking ripped. Like really fucking hot guys. And I'm like, you know, if you've got to jack off on Omegle, what hope is there for me? <laughs> Where is my life if you have to jack off on Omegle and you could break me in half over your head and fuck my girlfriend?
He lives here. You okay there? Everything... Everything good in your cabin? Got... Got your... Shotgun and rifles at the ready? In case... In case big government tries to come tell you what to do? Maybe... Maybe a meth lab in the basement? Primary source of income? A series of on-again, off-again girlfriends to... to beat at your whim? An alcohol problem that you say isn't a problem because you can stop any time, you just choose not to? Am I anywhere in the ballpark? How many Confederate flags do you own? And how many of them have the word redneck written across them? Any, any, any animal heads mounted to your walls? Dis, disembodied deer antlers? Uh, just, uh, adorning doorways? How many, how many t-shirts we got with the, uh, Duck Dynasty guys on them? Any? None? Maybe, uh, may, may, maybe an autographed photo from, from an RNC convention. Big fan of Ted Nugent, are you? Yeah, yeah, definitely into Ted Nugent. The Nuge. Definitely. Not so much a fan of, of the marriage equality. No. No. Them gays attacking our Christian religion. Can't have it. Won't stand for it, really. Hell, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say you're a Coors Light guy. Coors Light and Marlboro. Used to have a Harley, but wrecked it. Now you just have to drive the 1989 Ford F-150. Yep. <sighs> Definitely... Definitely the vibe I'm getting. I'm gonna say best job you ever had was the cart pusher at Walmart, but... But that damn nosy manager... He just couldn't let up, would he? No. no in fact, it wasn't a he. It was a damn woman thinking she knows what to tell a man to do. Well, you sure showed her. Yeah. Now, now, now you're working at your cousin's auto shop, but, but under the table because, because if it was official and you had to pay taxes, then, then, then you would have no choice but to pay the child support that you're certainly not paying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to wager your son calls another man daddy. Well... <laughs> ha! <clears throat> oh, yeah. Well, this has been tons of fun, Cletus, but, uh... But I'm gonna go ahead and check out. Wanna make sure you've, you've got time to get ready for your Kid Rock concert. Uh, have a great day, champ. And, uh, you know... Kick some shit. <laughs>